Welcome to our comprehensive guide to dining on board Azamara Pursuit. Well, actually, given that the Azamara fleet are almost identical, this guide is relevant to every ship, so I need to start again. Welcome to our comprehensive guide to dining on Azamara. That's better. In this guide, we will show you why Azamara are so well celebrated for their food on board, their three beautiful 700 guest vessels, and what choices you can expect all through the day and evening. For the size of the ship, the choices you have on where to eat are pretty wide and varied, with a few surprises thrown in during your voyage. So come with us now as we show you around, give our opinion, and most likely make you hungry. Shakespeare once wrote, If music be the food of love, play on. Well, if food be the love of you, watch on. Breakfast is such a lovely meal, isn't it? But it's so often rushed when there's a million things to do in a new day in a new port. But rushed, it doesn't have to be. Breakfast in what we would call the default choice, the Windows Cafe, is a relaxing experience where you can graze on a huge variety of sweet, savoury, hot or cold foods as you wake yourself properly from the excitement of the night before with the help of a beautiful view either out of those huge floor to ceiling windows that run both sides of the interior, or out on the sunset veranda where you can bathe in the fresh morning air. Also, if you're running late for registering for your excursion, the Mosaic Cafe has a variety of grab-and-go goodies which complement a takeaway speciality coffee. Alternatively, if you want something a little more formal, head to the Discoveries restaurant, where the menu holds a few surprises and your first meal of the day is served as delicately and tentatively as your evening dinner. We absolutely loved this, and when you're not in a hurry, like on a sea day, there's no better way of starting the day. Lastly, if you really can't or won't get up, get breakfast served in your room and brought to your very bed without you moving a muscle. If it's warm and the sun is shining on your balcony, your stateroom attendant will lay out your breakfast on a fresh white cloth on your balcony table and if you can manage the punishing journey from the bed to the balcony, it's the most laid back breakfasting experience of them all. And you don't have to get dressed either. Well, I advise you wear a robe at least. It can be a bit nippy otherwise. With the excitement of the morning out of the way, your thoughts will turn to lunch. And there's a variety of choices to be considered, so we'll start right here at the patio, which is open between noon and five, so it's perfect if you're late back from an excursion and need some calorific recharge. There's a salad bar here, and the menu mainly focuses on grill-style food. Burgers, hot sandwiches and wraps, brochettes, you know the kind of thing. Perfect al fresco lunchtime food, especially when you've been on your feet all morning and it goes down really well with an ice cold beer. There's also a self-service soft ice cream and frozen yoghurt area with a whole counter of toppings for a perfect cold sweet finish. If you want a little wider choice, Windows Cafe is also available and you can also sit outside too, which on warm days is a must. Like the patio, there's plenty of shaded tables too. The desserts are extra naughty here and there's a really tempting ice cream counter where the flavours vary daily, but your weakened resolve to avoid diving in does not. To plug that gap between lunch and evening dinner, because, you know, you're not doing the cruise thing properly unless you're eating every hour or so, are you? There's afternoon tea served in the lounge. 
It's a lovely relaxed setting and it's also very quiet too, so it's the perfect way to grab a small plate of something tasty, order a tea or coffee and just look out of the window at the beautiful view. Oh, and also every day between 5pm and 8, there's wine and tapas in the living room too. Now the evenings are really where the magic happens. The chefs are in full culinary swing and the venues sparkle into life with the absolute best of Azamara's most excellent cuisine. The options become a lot harder to choose from too as the evenings usher in the premium dining options on top of the included ones. But first we'll cover those included dinner options. Discoveries, which as you've learnt is the main dining room. Open seating applies which means you can turn up when you like and the restaurant looks gorgeous. The menu varies nightly and the food on offer here wouldn't be out of place on a premium dining menu. Azamara has one of the finest main dining room menus outside of ultra luxury and I'd admit it's up there with the best of those two as you can see from some of the dishes here. And if you feel like all those calories requiring no effort to obtain is a bit too indulgent, why not burn a few by helping yourself at the Windows Cafe? It's always open for a variety of world cuisine evenings, so if it's Mexican, Indian, Chinese or any other specific taste you're after, there will probably be a night for you up there that you'll fancy. And if the evening is warm, you can sit outside too, which is in our opinion always a desirable way to eat in the fresh open air with a beautiful nighttime view. Also outdoors under the stars is an evening in the patio, where there is a very tempting land and sea featured menu, offering steaks and seafood, and as you can see, if you like relatively simple yet delicious dishes, you'll love it here. Aquilina is one of two speciality restaurants on board and attracts a cover charge of 30 US dollars per person. Its Italian focused menu is an absolute joy and this venue is one of Helen's most favourite venues on any ship we've sailed on. Yes, it's that good. Please see our previous Azamara series for more details and visuals. The food here is beautiful to look at and utterly delicious. With up to five courses, you'll not come away hungry. In fact, you'll struggle to come away at all without help getting out of your seat. The other premium dining venue with the same cover charge is Prime C, a steak and seafood fine dining experience. They really make the evening special for you here and the venue itself has beautiful views stretching out from its panoramic windows. Again, we go into more detail in our previous series so follow the link appearing in the top right corner now for further indulgences. Also situated in Prime C is a large table at the front of the restaurant that is reserved for Azamara's culinary pièce de résistance, the chef's table. This costs 95 US dollars per person, which can sound a bit steep, 
but it does include a specially selected wine flight. So it's seven courses. Yes, seven courses with seven glasses of wine. <laughs> You'll need to be hungry for this one. Each course is presented and explained by the chef himself, and the wine is also presented by the sommelier at each course. No wonder this as amazing experience can last all evening. I have to warn you that all these premium dining options are extremely popular, so booking early is essential as they fill up very quickly. If you can, plan where you want to dine well before your trip and book them as soon as you get on board to avoid disappointment. And you will be disappointed if you miss any of these. Well, that almost wraps it all up, but there are a few more foodie events Azamara put on outside of the usual dining options, and these are the As Amazing Evening, the White Night Party, the Sea Day Pool Barbecue, and the Chocolate Buffet, all of which are not covered here, I'm afraid. If you want to see these events, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, as they are all featured in our upcoming vlog series, where we cruise with Azamara around Italy and the Adriatic. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button if you've enjoyed this guide. Please leave me a comment as to how hungry you now are and subscribe, which of course is the ultimate compliment. Thank you.